Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you? How are you feeling? How is life treating you? Hopefully life is treating you fabulous. If not, I do hope things get better. On today's episode of Sandy A7 Presents, I'm actually got a box. <laughs> I got a box from Jocelyn. Yeah, she sent me some goodies in the mail. Um, and it's not going to be a first impressions because I already opened them. <laughs> and I already ate a lot of them. <laughs> um, the thing was, I filmed this video and um, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know, it corroded or I deleted it on accident, something. Um, but I have all the goodies here. They all have been open. So don't judge. But I will let you know what they taste like because there's only one chip in here that was my favorite. And um, everything else was different. So we're going to start out with the chips. My favorite chip. Don't judge me. It's the um, traditional potato chip. It's actually very, very good. This was very tasty. I actually <laughs> like eating these with ketchup. And then I pour my... Um, hot sauce in my ketchup and I love Pete's hot sauce and I also what's just that one I like I like Pete's but I, I pour Pete no what's the other one there's another one I, oh my god Frank's oh Frank and Pete I like both Frank's and Pete's but Frank's is my favorite and I pour that on top of my ketchup and then I dip the, the potato chip in this one is um a traditional potato chip and they're a lot harder so I guess they're more like kettle chips And colors burning up the box. Anyway, this was very, very tasty as you can see. I've already finished that. And the next chip, um, which was very different. So we got two Cheetos. The first one, and I also we also tasted them with Sandra and um Adriana. They both had some of these. And these stink. <laughs> so that's the Cheeto bag right there. And that's the cheese so I don't know what kind of cheese it is if anybody knows or can translate for me and let me oh and let me know what the bag says or what kind of chips this is I'd be greatly appreciative um, it just it says Chester cheetah and then there's like a little cartoon back here um, so these smell like I don't even know how to describe it like butter cheesy butter Mm. These were not my favorite. I'm trying to describe the taste here. Oh no. It tastes like a real rich, buttery cheese. If that makes any sense. So, these were okay. Not my favorite. Maybe if I had a hot sauce to them, I don't know. It just have a weird smell to them. It just tastes like butter reminds me of butter don't taste like cheese more like i guess the melty cheese that they have here like super buttery melty cheese that's what this reminds me of so that's the other one the next one is cheetos of barbecue but not just any kind of barbecue not like the barbecue we know here um this is what the bag looks like <laughs> i told you they're all open because we already tasted these um Sandra wanted to taste them, taste them, and Adriana, but they didn't want to taste them on camera. So that's the barbecue. It's it smells like the picture. It makes any sense. So I should have showed you. No, you know, let me show you what this chip looks like. That's what that bag looks like. Ooh, these have like a very strong scent. These smell like the barbecue you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of the beef ramen noodles if anybody's familiar with the little packets of the um bullion cubes for beef that's what this reminds me of so take one out that's what that looks like so it's not like the barbecue sauce that we have here i taste like onion I taste steak. I taste sweet. 
I don't know. Yeah, like the ramen, like the beef ramen noodles. Yeah, these are good. I taste this onion. Maybe the sweet pepper that they have here. These are actually better. I like these better than these cheese ones. <laughs> these cheese ones are a lot better. But these have been small them. They taste good too. I'll take a little small one because these are good. Mm -hmm. And they're not as crunchy as the Cheetos here in the States. I keep saying here and you're not in the States. I know the Cheetos are like really crunchy and kind of hard. These are more soft. Um, but they're good. And the last bag of chips, I don't know what the name of them are. But it says it has one, two, three, four, five peppers on here. It looks like a mean pepper too. I don't even know who that is. Looks like it comes from a game or something. So that's this last chip. And I guess that's a game. If you can see there, you get points or something for this game. Um, these are different. I don't know what to, how to describe. I don't smell pepper. I don't smell chile. But that's what that looks like. These little rings. They're tiny rings, too. They're crunchy. Oh, they do have a bite to them. They do have a bite, a kick to them. That's it. And it doesn't have like the potato taste. Oh, I do taste potato. I do get that kick. These are good. They remind me of, um, like I don't taste potato. I don't even know if these are made out of potato. But, um, they remind me of like a crunch. Oh, how can I describe like? the fake chicharrones like the fake um what are they called like pork skins like the fake ones that they sell and they're made out of pasta like fried pasta they're good i guess if you ate a lot of them you'd get that kick you do get a lot like a little kick at the end of each one but they're good now i gotta remember to seal those up i'm gonna take a drink of water because i'm gonna cleanse the palate Okay, and then she sent me candy. She sent me, <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> she sent me this big old bag of um, high chew. High chew is my favorite candy. Um, but that's the bag of high chew. It says made in Japan. Now, I don't know if the ones that they sell in the States are made in Japan or if they're made here but they taste completely different I know Haichu I would go to the candy show every year and I go to the um, booth um, for the Haichu and they would give me a lot of it a lot of packages like the, my favorite one is the mango and then I like the sour ones that they came out with um, these were different flavors I don't think I've ever seen these here in the States. So they have banana, strawberry, peach, and muscat. And I didn't know what a muscat was, and I had to Google that. And it's a grape. I mean, they show the picture of the grape, but I needed to know what it was. Um, and then this peach. These were actually really good, as you can tell. I've eaten the entire bag. Um, so let me show you and see if I have. I love the banana ones so much that I ate almost all of them. So let's see. Let me pull one of each out so you can see what they look like. These are so good. And I'm not going to have any because I want to save them. Because I went to the store and I was going to buy a Haichu. Um, they wanted $10 or $15 for a really small bag. And I was like, yeah, no. So this is the muscat one. This one has a distinct flavor to it. Um, you know what, I'll open them up so you can see what they look like, but I won't eat one because I want to eat my Kit Kat. I got Kit Kat. Okay, so this is the muscat, which is like the grape one. It's 
Christmas. Good, but that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the color. It's like a bluish or a greenish aqua color. I'll put these in a baggie and I'll see them for tomorrow. This is my favorite banana. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried a Haichu banana, but that's what that looks like. And this was good. And it smells like that artificial banana. It smells like the Laffy Taffy bananas um, candy. If anybody's familiar with the, those Laffy Taffy ones. And that's what that looks like. Color. What are you doing? Um, the next one is, this is the peach one. So I thought this was raspberry or cherries based on the picture on the um, packaging itself. But this one is peach. I don't think it tasted like peach. Yeah, this one has, yeah, this one smells like peach, but, um, it, it tastes like an art, I don't know, it tastes like an artificial peach, but it's good, but it doesn't taste like the peach that I know here in the States candy wise. It's, there's a slight difference. And then it's a strawberry, probably not making any sense, but, um, that's strawberry. If I had more bags of these, then I would send everybody like maybe four <laughs> pieces of candies. You can try them out because I'm stingy. But <laughs> this is strawberry, and this one was good too. This reminds me of um, because this one had strawberry piece color. What is that crazy kid doing now? He's trying to get my attention because it's time for bed. That has like pieces of strawberry. You can see that, and this one smells so delicious, so good. That one's fantastic. So those are the high chews. This is the bag. This was very delicious. I think she said this bag cost ten dollars out there, and not here, not in the states. Um, a sm so I ate the entire bag, you guys. Entire bag. Um, so every day, every day. I would go back and forth in my in my beauty room, my filming area, and I'd have them on the side. So every day I would go by and I'd take two or three of them, two or three of them. Or when I'm gonna film and I'm putting on my makeup, I grab a handful of them, sit down, and I start just busting one out after the other. So I told myself, no more, stop it, save them for a little while. Um, Cause I would've finished this entire bag in like two days, but bad Sandy. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to this. So then she sent me different flavored Kit Kats. This is um, strawberry cheesecake flavor. And believe it or not, I still have a bunch of them because like I said, I filmed and then something happened to my video and I go, oh, let me save some of these so I can film because I'm gonna taste each one of these so, I could, so you can see it, I could taste it, I could eat it. <laughs> um, these were delicious. This is, um, Kit Kat strawberry cheesecake flavor. And if anybody's familiar, here in the States, it's very difficult to find different flavored Kit Kats. I think when I went to the candy show last year, they had strawberry Kit Kats. I brought those home and um, I think I only had one or two of them. We ate those up. Um, but yeah, these are good. These, all my Nestle. There's only nine in here. So that was kind of sad. So as you can see, here's the bag. I have about two, four, so six. So we've eaten three of them already. So they're small, they're bite size. Oh, they're nothing huge, not like the big packages. These are like the fun size ones we have here. So that's what that looks like. Um, it does have like, it says something, have a break, have a Kit Kat, but it has like, you could draw on here. I don't know, maybe I'm reaching. But that's what the back looks like. And we'll open these up. These were so good. I'm not very good at describing flavors. I really should learn how to do that. So open it up. And I thought they would be pink. I don't know why I thought they would be pink chocolate. But there's a Kit Kat. It's white. Oh my God. You can smell the cheesecake. It's more artificially flavored. That's what it looks like. I'm sorry if I'm smacking. Mmm. 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 
These are so good. I taste like a little vanilla. You could taste like the graham cracker and like an artificial strawberry. If that makes any sense. So, that's the strawberry. These cake Kit Kats. So that's one. And it's very pretty packaging too. See the packaging. So they show the downtown like area. It may be more of a traditional homes. I don't know. But that's one. Sorry, I got sidetracked. The next one, I think I posted this on Instagram. So if you're having me on Instagram, you will saw me open these up. It says have a break, have a Kit Kat. Packaging is so beautiful. It's so like pretty, you know, something you'd want to buy and display. And this is the strawberry one. That's what that looks like. These open a little differently. Look how pretty that is. And look, I haven't even, I ate one only. Cause I was like, I gotta, I gotta do this for my video. So that's the strawberry Kit Kat. So pretty, you know, the presentation is so pretty. Um, these were good too. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Okay, I gotta find them on Facebook. Oh, that's why it says Kyushu Souvenir. So, right there. That's why the packaging is so different. I don't know what that means. I should look that up. I just now noticed that. I have to look that up. I don't know what that means. And also the same thing. Pretty packaging. Oh, is that focusing? No. There we go. And that's the back. Color, I don't know what you're doing or what you're up to today. Let's open this one. Oh man, that smells good. This reminds me of um strawberry quick. I'll take the smaller one. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, these remind me of strawberry quick. For those of you that are familiar with strawberry quick. A drink. Mmm. The strawberry is more intense than this one, but again, it's more of like an artificial. But it's spot on. Delicious. Okay. Um, the next one, the final one, is Kit Kat Sake. Japan Sake. Am I saying that right? The elegant taste of sake or sake wrapped in a gentle sweetness of white chocolate. Enjoy the rich, satisfying flavor of sake. Now this one, this one was good, but you can taste, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to taste like, but it's delicious. I beat up this box, I opened it all crazy and I see that perforated right here. But that's the side packaging. I, sorry, I got distracted. I'm paying attention to it more now than I did when I opened it. So that's the box. Very pretty packaging. This one comes in um, the packaging. The paper is different. So this one is a little more like frosted, more a little more elegant. And then there's the Kit Kats inside. These are strong. That's why I haven't eaten so many. So that's very elegant. But I apologize. This video is probably supposed to be like five minutes long and I'm making it like 20. Okay. So that's the Kit Kat. Again, small. And you know what? I like fun size ones or small ones if this is what they traditionally eat out there. Because all you need is a little bit. You don't need to have a big ass jumbo size bar. You can smell the sack in here. You can smell like liquor. It's so good. Ah. Uh, Mm-hmm. It's like the chocolate. You could taste the sake in here. If anybody had sake before, I like it. I drink it warm. But delicious. So also I just wanted to share with you um the different candy that Jocelyn sent me. Again, it's the Kit Kat Sake. <laughs> and then there was the strawberry Kit Kat. 
and then there was a cheesecake strawberry cheesecake flavor now haichu which is my ultimate favorite which i'm about to eat because i want to get rid of the sake taste mm, banana i know i don't like banana flavored candy but this one okay i won't chew anymore so this was my favorite out of all of them and i love me some chocolate but we already know that so out of my favorite for the kit kats i am gonna go with the strawberry um i love this i love strawberries um and strawberry was my favorite one and then i want to say the sake one was good and then the cheesecake only because they're different flavors like i'll never find this one in the states i don't think Unless I go to a specialty shop here in Chicago. Um, then we have the different chips. We have these hot ones, which I don't know the name of them. And then we have Cheetos Barbecue. Cheetos, these buttery cheese ones. And the regular potato chips. Sorry. I'm trying to hold it in my mouth. Like gum. So I don't chew okay my favorite one was the regular potato chip um i don't know i just i like it. and i don't even like potato chips you guys i really don't care for potato chips then my then the next one was barbecue um and then i would i like these hot ones and then the last ones were these cheesy ones these were just very different i don't even know how to describe these i really i don't think i've ever i don't think i've ever tried anything I tasted this like this no cheese because we use cheddar cheese in our chips and this is more of a yellow cheese so they're more salty anyway so I want to thank you all for being here with me today thank you for putting up with the little chews and the little noises sorry about that um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the like or dislike button it's all up to you it's it's all good and uh, leave me a comment down below which one would you have liked to try it would you have liked to try all of them which one do you think would be would have been your favorite um would you try all the kit kats would you buy them if they're available here in the states same thing with the chips would you buy these chips just to see what they were like uh comment down below and subscribe like and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my videos that are coming out they're gonna be so different um, maybe I'll have Jocelyn send me some more goodies, some different more chips, maybe different candies, um, maybe something unusual. Let me know comments. Let me know if that's something you like to see. And that's about it. So I hope I made some sense in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed eating it. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for being here again. I have a giveaway going on right now. Uh, it'll be posted up here for hitting 1900. Thank you again. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Go see what it's about. And also all my other videos, um, I will post those at the end of the video. So you can go check those out in regards to my stash. My next video is going to be eyeshadow palettes. So that's coming soon. And today's look is not sponsored but it is brought to you by uh, many MUA oh my god excuse me I just burped so this I look is lunar beauty and also strawberry dream I think I only used one or two from lunar beauty and then the rest was strawberry dream I really can't remember it took me forever to do this and that's it thank you all hasta later's